Hey, Nets. Let's <clears throat> see, I'm trying to get this. It's probably going to be okay right here if I'm going to paint right there. Maybe just a little up. There we go. Hey, Pakala. Hi, Shirley. Happy hump day. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I dropped my camera down just a little bit so that um, hopefully the focus will be really good. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, on the uh, on doing some small little paintings. Can you hear me okay? Hopefully you can hear okay. Thanks, Pacola. How you doing, Pacola? I should probably go ahead and tweet. Let me, oh, I got my phone plugged in over there. Doing good? Okay. Let's see here. I think I have a picture too. So let's, uh, let's crop that down a little. Hi, Sharon. Everybody popping in. Thanks for us popping in. <laughs> Let's see. Sharpen. Hi, Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to show it in a minute. It, it was on my front porch last night after I watered my garden, Kenny. Hi, Teresa. Hi, G. Hi, Jersey. Barbara. Hi, Melody. Big lady. Oh, Melody. I'm so sorry. Do you have your cold? Do you have a cold rag on the back of your neck and on your ears? Do you have a cold rag on your back of your neck and your ears, Missy? Hi, Twyla. Darla, Marie, Shirley. Hi, everybody. Okay, Pamela, lurk away. We love our lurkers. Hi, Elena. Hi, Terry. One second, Terry. As soon as I tweet, I'll say good morning to you. Well, here, let me go ahead and do that first. <laughs> oh, wait, I got to turn off the phone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Anook's coloring. Um, who else? Let's see. I'm I'm probably missing people. I'm trying to tweet here real quick, guys. Um, let's see, let's get a picture. Where is it? Where's my picture go? Where'd my picture go? Um Um, let's see who else. So, Marie, Diane. Hang on, guys. I'm um, coffee and art in the <laughs> morning live. Where's my coffee cup? There it is. Here, here comes uh, Malibu. I heard it go. Brrr. Brrr. That's what she does. Hi, Lysandra. Sean. Mama Four. <laughs> well, you want to come up here, little girl? Come, let me move some of this stuff out of the way for you. I'm going to work on this size so i'm, I'm kind of really zoomed in i will readjust the lighting i pulled out all my botanicals um janet i mean she's making me do this i'm just i'm gonna blame janet no not really i gotta use these up <laughs> oh my goodness but i did pull out my uh watercolor pencils okay wait that is crooked that is very crooked 
There we go. So I used some watercolor pencils and the watercolor. I got the Artezas, both of them out. Oh, let's see. That's better. I'll probably have to readjust it when I pull the white paper. Let's see. Elaine, Lisa, Darla. I know I'm probably missing some people coming in. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to use the Arteza watercolors. All I've done is swatch them. So I haven't really used them other than swatch them. Hi, Janet. I'm blaming you, Janet. Not really. But I want to use my watercolor pencils. So um, if y'all did not see Janet's show yesterday, oh my gosh, she did an amazing, well, she's still working on it, but it's looking so good. She's doing a big watercolor painting and it's so good. I'm just going to do little, I'm just going to do little, um, yeah. <laughs> and Janet, Janet's tackling a whole painting. Hi, Becky. Let's see who else. Yeah. Uh, Christine G. Janice, uh, I'm sure I'm missing some people. You look away and the whole chat's different. Rainbow, um, hi, wannabe girl, Nancy. <laughs> yes, Janet's, Janet always streams on Monday. It was Monday, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. She streamed at, streamed at 1. Um, yeah. <laughs> Janet says, go ahead, Dee. Blame me for everything because I'm going to blame Eileen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. Janet. Janet's awesome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kimberly. Let's see who else. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so I'm, I haven't picked anything yet. I might pick some flowers, a bird, some fruit, uh, just to do those little watercolors like we did a couple weeks ago. I need to have some more give for some giveaways. And speaking of giveaways, oh, yes, people, we are going to be giving away. It's the first Wednesday of the month. We're going to be giving away Anna's, uh, Anastasia's Nocturnes today. And, um, yeah, Kenny and um, Melody gifted um, th that and the, um, let me get the book here, which I already gave away, this one, the fairy tale princess, this one. I went ahead and did a double giveaway this month. So, um, yeah, yeah, cat herding. <laughs> Terry. So, uh, yeah, giving away that one last week. And so we'll, we're going to go ahead and do this one today. And speaking of Kenny, I'll go ahead and show this. <laughs> uh, after I got done watering the garden last night, <laughs> I went out the front to, you know, check on everything out front. And on the porch was an Amazon envelope. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> this was in there. Dee Dee, you never know when you will need a backup. Ha, 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 always Kenny. Do y'all know what it is? Do you know what backup she sent me? I'll show you mine first. <laughs> here's, here's my bone folder. <laughs> This is my bone folder. <laughs> I guess maybe it was OCD and Kenny. <laughs> so she sent me a new bone folder. And it's a nice one too. I mean, it feels it feels really good. This one has no feeling. This one's lost. This one has lost all feeling. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> I know, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I know <laughs> it was OCD. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the white ones are scary. Terry said, oh, but the white ones are scary. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm sure it will become well loved in no time, Terry. 
so I haven't, I didn't open the little uh, thing here. There's a little uh, card thing in here. Let's see. How do I get this out? Let's see. Do I, there we go. So it's a Vince Inc. Vince Inc. Vince Inc. Happy. Oh, it's a little Amazon thing. Okay. <laughs> I think you, so we got a little code there. Oh, in case something happened to it. Uh, but anyway, I like that. I like the little card. I thought that was really cute. So thank you so much, Kenny. I think I'll put the, this in there with it. Yeah. <laughs> My Kenny bone folder. So yeah, <laughs> that was so that was so cute. Oh, because I wasn't expecting anything from Amazon. I do have some uh, books coming in, but um, it, it was just in a flat envelope. So um, I said, "Well, I wonder what what this is." Sure enough, <laughs> thank you so much, Kenny. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Hi, Christine A. We have a Christine, another Christine. So Christine C L. CL Christine, uh, Josephine, let's see who else, Dorothy B, uh, what's it used for? Um, if you fold something, here, I'll use one of my, uh, I'll use one of my uh, watercolor papers here. So you, let's say you have a thick piece of paper and you want it nice and folded. First off, you really want to score it. You really want to, that's what the point's for. Okay, let me get a ruler. Where's my ruler's? No, I don't know what my little one is. Okay, so you want to score it. I'm not really measuring here. So you score it, which gives you a crease line. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. There's a crease line there, okay? And so now when you bend it, okay, and then if you want, see how it's not flat? It's not really flat, right? So you take your bone folder and you mash it down like this, and you have the perfect flattened out crease, see? That's what it's for. I mean, you can use it. There's a few other things you can do with it, but that's that's why it's called a bone folder. They used to be made out of bone. Uh, I guess you can still get real bone ones, but I don't want. I don't. Okay, I won't go there. <laughs> Janet's gonna. Janet's tempting me mentally. Janet is mentally tempting me. I'm not going there, Janet. You twelve year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, and then <laughs> a little card. But anyway, they're plastic now. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Let's see, uh, Victoria. <laughs> I hope Jan just went off to spit out her coffee. I don't know. So uh, anyway, <laughs> let's see who else do we have here? Smoky Fireside Creations. What a cute name. I think I followed you. Didn't I follow you, Smokey? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Um, let's see. Uh, Danny Girl. Um, just waiting to see who all is coming in. Thanks for all the thumbs up already, guys. And we almost have 100 people here already. Thanks, everybody. Happy hump day. Where's the... Let's see, it was Phil. Here's Phil. Happy hump day, everybody. Have y'all seen the new Geico commercial? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it shows all the different characters, the sloth, the squirrels, Phil. And it shows them all, like, prepping for some kind of big production. Have y'all seen that new one? Oh, my gosh. You just, just Google it. You'll find it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, saw it yesterday, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. It just came out this, I think this last week. And then I have another plan. Well, I won't, I won't do that today or probably won't even do it on camera, but you know how we have all these flow papers and flow cards from flow magazines. Let me pull a couple out of my box up here. Anyway, <clears throat> have all these flow, you know, these different things from, the paper flow and all these different cool um, things from flow. Well, I have a stack probably about that big. Now, obviously I'm not going to use all that, but I'm going to pick my favorite ones. Uh oh, here comes the babies. Let's yeah, yeah I know, honey. Let, let me move the paint. Let me move the paint. You can sit down, sit down, sit. <laughs> um, so I got some more uh, rings. 
These are the metal ones. So I got some more of these rings. What do you think about that? You don't hear that? And I'm going to book, I'm going to, uh, you know, punch. I'm going to punch these and put them on the rings. And uh, I know, I see you, honey. You're just so cute. Just the sweetest one. I know. Where's your, where's your sister? Y'all are usually run in a, running packs. Run in a pack. So <laughs> you like that, Kenny? Oh, yeah. He'll sit down. He'll sit for a pet. So anyway, I'm going to um, I'm going to punch the sides of my flow papers because I'm not using them. I mean, some of them are made to cut up, you know, and some are made to collage. Some have things you can make with them, but I'm going to turn them into a like a my own happy planner, right? <laughs> a pretty of uh, my my. Um, flow paper planner a flow paper planner okay baby now you know you can't go over there with the cords so you can come over here or you're gonna have to get down um <clears throat> so they just have all kinds of cool see like this one's made to cut out so i won't use that but i just pulled a handful out of the box up there <clears throat> so yeah oh i forgot to turn this light on let's see let's turn that one on so I'm going to punch those and use these rings. So I got them at Hobby Lobby. I did use a 40% off coupon. These are the metal ones. The metal ones cost more than the plastic ones. The plastic ones are about $4. The metal ones are like $9. But, you know, 40% off coupon. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, uh, Smokey. I'm going to put it together with those rings. Look at this little baby. Where's your sister? Where's your sister? You know, usually are together. So I hope everybody's having a good week. Hi, Riri. Shirley. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Um, thanks for popping in, Rachel. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. I couldn't do that. I think the most we've ever had, I think one time we had four, but the most we've ever really lived with is uh, three. <laughs> yeah. A flow planner would be a flanner. Oh, wah, wah. oh wait a minute. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> like, I got to. I can't help it. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Where is it gone? <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> so yeah so anyway so what we're going to do i have my arteza watercolors that i've squeezed out into i'm now for those of y'all that you know i'm talking about the i've already talked about it once but if you weren't here when i um talked about the Arteza watercolors or the Arteza gouache. They're in little tubes, right? And they come in a box. You know, I got this, what is it, 60 sets? And uh, they come in little tubes. Well, I, I bought the little trays myself. I bought the little uh, pans and squeezed them out myself. And then I have double-sided tape. Let me move one here. Uh, double-sided foam tape under each one. Okay, so they can stick and you can take them out. You can switch them around, move them around. And um, so I put them in a, this Jane Davenport pencil case. And the reason I picked it is, one, if they all 60 fit, and two, it has a white base for watercoloring. When I do acrylics, acrylics are very opaque, and I can pile them up. Here, I'll show you. I can pile up acrylic after acrylic after acrylic in a in a black plastic lid, right? Uh, and I can still see the color. But watercolor, <coughs> sorry, let me get a sip of coffee here. You need a white tray. So um, so that's what I did. I made this one. Then my gouache ones, I put in this old watercolor tin thing. I did the exact same thing. This is, I, I did, I did get me a uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I just haven't had time to clean this out yet. This is ink on here from another project. 
so I need to clean this out so I have it. So here's my gouache. So it's the same thing. They're just the little pans stuck down, stuck down on some foam tape so that they stay, right? So there's the gouache. And um, yes, Faithful. <laughs> Faithful, I sent out your little um, your little paper clips yesterday. You should probably get them in a couple days. So anyway, these are the watercolors. Let's see if I can uh, line up my camera. Here we go. I did drop my camera down uh, rather than hitting the, the zoom because I think it'll be clearer that way. I don't really know. But anyway, so I put my watercolors in here, picked up just picked out a couple i'm using the paper that i'll be using is this it's the strathmore vision pad and you can get them in smaller pads but i bought the big one which is 11 by 15 140 pound 30 pa papers coming i got it at hobby lobby you can get it at michael's and you can get it with a 40 or sometimes a 50 percent off i always buy this stuff on at least 40 guys never put, pay full price for this stuff and uh, I cut each sheet up into four. So four of these sheets make up one of those sheets in the vision pad. And what I like about this is, and I'll test it out with both sides. Uh, one side is a little smoother than the other. They're both, they, this one doesn't quite feel cold press, although they'd probably call it cold press. It's not quite that... Um, <laughs> rough i mean cold press isn't rough but you know what i mean it's more textured than hot press so it feels like i have both so i have like a hot press and a cold press on one sheet of paper and um yeah and then the arteza watercolor pencils is what i really want to play with today so um uh, yeah so i put the purples there greens blues and i did swatch these out i did do a swatch let me get that Let's swap it. Let's move it back here. Okay. <clears throat> so I did do a swatch last week. Hi, Scoobs. Natalie, I think I said hi, Natalie. Audrey or Adri. If I miss saying good morning to you, I'm not trying to ignore you. I just the chat goes by fast. Hi, Melinda. Um. Let's see. Hi, Stackhouse Cash. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'm trying to keep up with everybody. So these are the watercolor pencils that I did swatch these out last week. So I can look and see what colors they actually are when they're wet. What the? <laughs> what happened there? Oh, my goodness. I think that's oh my, here's some. so I think there's 72 pencils 72 set I got the 72 set and well actually my daughter Annie bought it for me for Mother's Day so those are the colors she bought the watercolor pencils and the watercolors so those are all the colors I'm gonna go backwards here here comes a cat. Oh, no, baby. Can't get on the cord. Oh, let's move you. Let's move you. Ugh, can't get on the cords. So, yeah. There's 72 watercolor pencils. And then I got 60 um, watercolors that I put in pans. So, I'll probably leave this close by. So, probably in an hour and a half or so, we'll do our giveaway. So, if you're just coming in, thanks for all the thumbs up. Uh, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of the Nocturnes by uh, Anastasia Ellie Coldereva. And I did start a page in my copy. Well, it's not quite finished, but I'll show you how far I've got on it. It's got a lot of, I put shimmer. There you go. You can see it. I put shimmer on it. See the cat right there? It doesn't photograph well, but, and then there's her headdress. I did have her crying gold tears. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm working on that. I got a little bit more to do, but it's pretty well done. 
that was the day that was last or went last went last Wednesday. Anyway, when um, YouTube rudely uh, shut us down one Wednesday, I don't know if it was YouTube or what the problem was. Never know. But we got uh, cut off <laughs> halfway through the show. So, yeah, those are things I'm working on. Yeah, uh, Janet's talking about, I guess somebody asked about ink tents. Ink tents are water-soluble ink pencils that are ink, like ink pigment in a pencil rather than watercolor. And supposedly, if you completely dissolve them and they dry, they're waterproof. Um, I would call them more water resistant. I don't think that they're really waterproof, but yeah. So anyway, but these are the Arteza watercolor pencils and all I've done is swatched them. I haven't played with them yet or tried to use them or whatever. Uh, no, it wasn't your connection last week, Kenny. It was everybody. And then Sunday, I guess everybody heard, uh, Google had uh, some kind of an outage. I don't know if it was worldwide, but, you know, e e uh, Gmail, uh, Google products, you know, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, a whole bunch of stuff went down for a few hours. That was on Sunday. So that was, I wasn't streaming on Sunday. Some of the streamers couldn't get on on Sunday. Uh, this, you know, day before yesterday, well, two days ago, three days ago, this past Sunday. Oh, it's Wednesday already. Happy hump day, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it was Sunday here, Shirley. Uh, Sunday is when it happened. It wasn't Monday because I streamed on Monday. Monday it was fine. Maybe it was Sunday overnight into Monday, but Monday morning it was fine. I streamed on Monday. So um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to set these aside for just a minute while we, uh, let me get rid of that. Let's see if I can move my ring light over. So I picked, um, I have all these different, you know, books and watercolor and botanicals and all that. Um, these are some of the uh, how-to type books. And I've got them all at Hobby Lobby. This one doesn't have the uh, clearance sticker. This was just, I would have got 40% off. These two were clearanced out uh, over the last couple of years um, for $6.49 and $4.99. So um, got to watch for those clearances at Hobby Lobby, if you have a Hobby Lobby. And, and uh, one of the nice things about Hobby Lobby is you can use your 40% coupon on books. You can't do that at Michael's. Michael's, you cannot use 40% uh, off on any book. But uh, Hobby Lobby, you can. So if you want a book, you know, and, and they're available at, you know, both places and Get it where you can get it the cheapest. All right, so I'm going to move this watercolor paper out of the way for a minute because it's making a big shadow. Well, again, I am really zoomed in. Um, I'm not sure if I need to re-autofocus or what because uh, it probably wouldn't hurt. Let's see. Maybe if I get my hand out of the way. And let's see. Let's make sure we're bright enough. Now, I'll probably have to turn the brightness down when I go to paint with just a piece of white paper. Um, yeah, in Canada. Yeah, I know. You'll probably have other stores that have deals that we don't have. All right. So, um, I've played in all these before. I don't have any of the little pieces that I've drawn because I've given them all away. I give them all to uh, YouTube Um all my uh, channel supporters. So all the originals are gone that I've um, done over the last couple of two, three weeks, four weeks, whatever. But we're going to, I do want to list, I have this paper that I tested with the watercolor, or maybe it was a gouache. I don't remember. So I'm going to go ahead and see, let me just get a red here. Oh, I do need to move my water bucket over here closer. My water bucket here with on an on a uh, paper towel will sit right here as long as it doesn't make a shadow. There we go. That's pretty good. And uh, let's uh, let's test a couple different ways. <clears throat> I want to test it also with the um, how I do a neo color. <coughs> how I do a neo color. Let's turn this just a little. How I do a neo color is I use my um, 
water brush. So I'm going to try both. So, and I'm going to try on both sides. I want the smooth side first. So this is the smooth side. And I'm just going to use this for a minute. So here's just with the water brush. Okay. And then how I do my Neo color is just take it off of the tip of the Neo color. And, and then you can uh, paint with it that way. So if you just want to paint with it, you can just take it off the tip and paint with it like that. Okay? So you can do either one. Let me get a Kleenex to clean that off. So that's how I clean my water brushes. I just squeeze a little water into a Kleenex. It seems to be the best way to clean your water brush. Okay, so. Yeah, um, I saw somebody mention Joann's. Um, I have a Joann's, but it's like at uh, 45 minutes away. It's farther. Where my Hobby Lobby and Michael's are within 15 minutes. And uh, Hobby Lobby's within one minute, really. <laughs> just three miles away so Hobby Lobby is my closest um, uh, craft store I do have a small Blick but it's downtown Atlanta so I love the Blick in Savannah the one by the river it's huge I haven't been in a couple of years I have to ask if Ann comes in I'll have to ask her if she's made it down to the one on the river yet um well, it's a block off the river, but it's huge. It's like a Walmart of Blick. Hi, Iffy. All right, so let's test both sides again here. This is the smooth side. This is the more textured side, and you can really tell a difference. Look at that. All right, so now let's get it wet. This is the more textured side. <clears throat> and, you know, these pencils are not meant to be, I don't think they proclaim to be, like, artist grade or anything. They're just, you know, I think they're what we call student grade watercolor pencils because they're not, they're inexpensive. Right, or we would say we would call them fairly budget friendly. <laughs> so there's the, the pencil on the rough side and the smooth side. Savannah better have a big art source. They have all the SCAD students. That's true. We have SCAD in Atlanta too, but it's a subsidiary of the main one in Savannah. So, but yeah, and they also have other, I think they have a SCAD store too, Faithful Art Supply Store. I haven't been to it, but um, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick some things. I, I'm, I want to use both. You know, I got the watercolors and I got the pencils out. So we'll see what we want to use. And I got some watercolor brushes and, you know, I got piles of brushes right here. So, but I do have my watercolor brush if I want that. Okay, so I don't know which one I want to do work in today. I, and I don't remember what's in which one <laughs> for us to uh, draw in. And uh, so I think, though, I want to draw with just a regular pencil very lightly. And then, uh, you know, keep, um, keep it light. I'll try to hold it up so you can see the drawing. But uh, I, I do want to keep it pretty um, light drawing. Oh, we look a little bright here. Let's, let's turn the brightness down just a little there. Okay. <clears throat> so I've, I'll just kind of do a little bit of flip. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick something out, some things out uh, that I like. Uh, this one's a botanical flower painting, beginner's guide. The art of botanical and bird illustration. And then this one's botanical sketchbook. So they all have different, you know, they're all different uh, versions of how to do botanicals. And I have shown, let me see, oh, I can't get to it. 
I'm, I'm, uh, my, sh my bookshelf is packed in. Okay, here comes the boy again. Um, so, no, no, mm -mm, no, let's get in. You can't get over there by the cords. Um, so, Botanical Sketchbook, a guide and inspiration for any botanical artist, Mary Ann Scott with Margaret Stevens. And uh, in association with the Society of Botanical Artists, and uh, yeah, I'll tell y'all the, and I'm sure you can find any of them on uh, on Amazon, just by looking up Botanical Sketchbook Mary Ann Scott. Batsford, I guess, is the publisher here. This one came out in 2010. Originally, the the paperback 2014. So that's what this one is. This one, so this one would have been put out in 2014. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of flip. Let me get a, maybe some post-its and pick out some pages that I might want to test out. I like this one because she shows you um, some, you know, color uh, options, you know, color studies, if you will, with them all. So that's kind of cool. I might even just do a couple like that where I'm testing, you know, do the t color test on them. We could do that. That's kind of cool. So I don't want to really go through every book. I've, I've gone through the books before. Here's some leaves. Maybe we'll do a leaf. Um, I'm going to flip here. There's some lots of leaves here. And uh, lots of, you know, color charts. And, oh, here's some good ones. There's a little pansy. I like that. That's me and my grandma's flower pansy she would grow those in her garden when I was a wee a wee tyke that's pretty that little variegated so there's just all kinds of little flowers and you know you, you, just to, you know study them especially if you um, like to garden or um, just do just do flower drawings thank you Terry for putting in links but I want to keep it kind of simple. I, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do four or five just, you know, small ones. Uh, I did a red onion from, I think, one of the other books. And I also did a pear from one of the other books. But I like that pear. I might do that pear, too. Hmm. Uh, there's some pomegranates. Some, now we're getting into the vegetables. I really like the, there's another red onion. Uh, I really like the eggplant. Maybe we'll do an eggplant. Maybe we'll do an eggplant. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to do full-on scenes. I just want tiny little, little, uh, a little vignette, you know. Working in the field. It's just got a lot of information, written information. Working from photographs. And then she's got, look at all these beautiful photographs. I don't know, so look a little. I mean, I want to maybe turn the overhead light off. Here, hang on. Let's see if I, I don't know if that's any better. It's just got a little bit of a flash on it. Yeah, that looks, that looks a little better. Do a tomato. <laughs> um, so I just like how she does the little studies off to the side. Does that light look better with the overhead off? Y'all let me know. <clears throat> There's some little, these are some little berries. And I just love how she, you know, does her little uh, studies along the side. So, yeah, I'm just kind of do a flip through. So this one has really got a lot in it, as you can see. Are these what are these green what are these green olives? I'm not sure what these are. And, uh, it was so pretty though, weren't they guys? Again, I mentioned it earlier. If you weren't at Janet's yesterday, Janet tackled a very difficult watercolor painting out of a uh, you know a book like this to practice. And uh Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. And then here's some shade colors. and Yeah, so that one's Botanical Sketchbook. So we picked some things out of that one. And she did, uh, she did an awesome job. <clears throat> okay, so this one, this one is The Art of Botanical and Bird Illustration by Mindy Light, Light Hip. L-I-G-H-T-H-I-P-E. 
And I think this is the one that we did some out of a couple weeks ago. This one came out in, let's see, <clears throat> 2017. And it has a faux spiral there. Talk about all your basic supplies. They all do that. And there's watercolor. Well, that's color pencils. And then here's watercolor pencils. And don't be afraid, guys, to mix your media. You know, if you need a little dot of a white in an eye, you know, put a Posca pin in there. You know. <laughs> <coughs> you got this book, Scoops? Oh, good. And you love it? Yeah. Hi, Zeely. Hi, Cajun Sunshine. Shirley. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Okay, so oh yeah, here we go. We did uh we did do this artichoke. I can't show you, I mean I can show you on my phone because I took pictures of it. I don't have the originals. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I like that little pepper. So we did the artichoke. This one shows you some leaf drawing things, the veins, the different kinds of veins in different kinds of leaves. Leaf anatomy. So here's what did we draw here? Oh, this was uh is that where is that? It's uh, it's uh, some kind of a root. What? <laughs> so I guess we haven't got to it yet. I'll hold it out. <clears throat> but I did sketch that one out. We just didn't get to it. Here it is. It's drawing a root. It's some kind of a flower bulb, I guess. I'm not sure what kind of bulb it is. I'm looking here. I don't see it. But I did sketch that out. <clears throat> a tulip type bulb terry maybe i don't know if i want to do that one today well here it is you know more finished so uh, anyway we'll see but we did a couple things out of this book last couple weeks ago then here's some ducks feathers bird wings bird anatomy <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm on my voice this morning. There's some little bird sketches. And um, then putting it all together into different projects. We did draw the pear. We, we did uh, the onion and the pear. I did them separately. But uh, I forgot who I gave which ones to. Um, but I gave those away. And uh, let's see. I think that was all we did out of this. Oh, no, we did an orchid. Did the did some of the? Uh, I think I sent one of these to um, Melody. I think, and then did a couple of different flowers out of here. So because we worked in this one quite a bit, I think I'm going to go with the other one and let's look at this one real quick. So <clears throat> okay, so this one's a beginner's guide to botanical flower painting. Michael Larkin, uh, Lakin, L A K I N. And this one, I, I remember now getting this one because I liked the, I like the vellum overlays. <clears throat> Not to use them. I mean, you can use them for, you know, transfer, you know, to trace and stuff. But I thought these would be pretty to tear out and put in a uh, journal. Wouldn't these be cool in a journal? <laughs> so anyway, that's what got, you know, I, it was, I got it for, I don't know, it was about five bucks, I think. I don't remember. It was either clearance or 40 or 50% off. But anyway, I love the overlays. It's just, I love the feel because it just reminds me of my um, parchment calligraphy days. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, they have all the different, um, and they're all numbered six. I'll hold it up a little so you can maybe see them. Seven. A, so if you want to, you could use this as a, you can either trace it or just use it as a reference to draw from if you want to do the projects in the book. So you can see, I'm kind of holding them up so you could see them. So there's 15, 16, 16 projects. Isn't that cool? You bought this one too, Melody? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, well, he talks about it in the book. 
All right. So anyway, beginner's got a botanical flower painting. And so you can see it's just, I mean, it's eye candy. It's inspiration. If you don't do anything else, you know. Now, I do like this uh, dark tulip here. I don't know if that's one of the projects, but I might be doing some tulips. Uh, Janet, look at this nice wooden box. Janet, by the way, again, um, Janet um, used some a, a couple of different cigar boxes and put her little pans in those. They're really cute. Yeah, um, yeah. Bye, bye, Maria. Bless your heart. Have a good day. <laughs> Send the trolls on their merry way. Um, so anyway, again, all the supplies. Prepare. Oh, and this is if you have a, if you're going off of a real flower. I do like this dark purple pansy here. I might do that one. Let's see. And here's all the parts of the flowers. Some composition um, uh, ideas. Then here's drawing, and he's just showing how he sketches it out. And look how he has them over here on the side. I, li I really like that. Now, these are just if you want to do a little study, which is what we're going to do. We're not going to do full-on paintings here like Janet did yesterday. Oh, my gosh, Janet. And, Janet, you really did tackle a difficult one. Ian wasn't kidding when he told you you picked a, you picked a tough one to do, Janet. Um, you, I <laughs> love that box. I, I mean, I'm not kidding when you picked a tough one to, uh, try to just do a study from. So anyway, look, see how they got them over here. Here's a poppy. I like the little poppy. I did some poppies with the quote on it. And that's another thing I like to do. Cause I like to do brush lettering. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do, I don't know. I'm trying to think, where did I put that poppy picture? Where did I put it? <laughs> even know where it is at the moment but um i think i have a copy of it here let's see ah here we go because i did send some of these out some uh, little prints of them um so this was done on a big piece of paper i mean it's big i mean like four i think it was uh 14 by 17 or 11 by 7 14 it was big so uh, i'm not sure i put it right now but here's the little print that i did from it but we could still do this smaller. So like do a flower with either the, the word or a little um, a little quote, a little quote with it or something, you know, in, um, in brush lettering. That's what we did here. This is just brush lettering with, I don't know what kind of pen, if it was one of, if it was one of the, uh, what do you call it? I forget the name of these, not, uh, yeah, touch pens or whatever. You know, the markers. That's what, I think that's what we did this in. I don't remember. There's a vi there's a video on it. <laughs> so anyway, we might do something like this with just a word or two or a small quote or something with the flower. Because I want to use these. Uh, I want to use these uh, watercolor uh, squares that I cut out. So anyway, let's keep looking here. Some more leaves. Oh, thank you, Adri. Is it Adri? I think it is. Then here he's setting up a uh, a little still life. Well, you know, on a he's got a little flower right there in front of him. Here he is measuring it with his pencil. Or you could use your uh, calipers like that we had that I showed you a couple weeks ago. I haven't used them since, but I had to buy, I had to buy them because they were a cool plastic set. Uh, again, here's his little box, Janet. Look. Here's, his, here's the box that he has. Remember, guys, if you all want to talk to me, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. The poppies are perfect for tomorrow's D-Day D -day anniversary. Is it tomorrow or is it today? Today? Is it today or tomorrow? I know they're doing, they're doing stuff in uh, UK with it today. I thought it was today, Julie. <clears throat> but either way, it's it is perfect for that. Yeah, it's perfect for the D Day remembrance. This may be my inspiration for the boxes. Oh, really? Oh, okay, Janet. Well, you did awesome. I like yours better, Janet. I mean, nothing nothing wrong with his, but his is kind of plain. 
<laughs> I use the Gansai Tambi watercolor for the poppies, Pacola. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, you know, I was just playing around one day. We, we do that a lot here. <laughs> don't we, guys? All right. So this one's kind of cool. Okay. Here's using the tracings. Here's if you want to use the tracings. How to do that. I like that rose. I like all of them, guys. They're all they're all uh, educational to try to um, hone your skills, right? So let's just do a little more of a flip. See, he does step outs here. He does step by step on his on the main projects. Look, 25, 26, 31, 35. So he goes, you know, he's got 35 steps to just this one flower. Today is the fifth. Yeah, I, I I barely remember it's Wednesday. <laughs> I just know they're set, they're um they're doing memorializing in a uh, UK uh, today. Uh, Julie, maybe I don't know why. You know, I don't know why why they pick what days, but anyway. Um, so let's see. Using worksheets, creating a worksheet. You do your own little color swatches, you know, all that. Let's see. There's the pop. I think this is, is this the poppy that we used as an example? It might have been as our um, project. These are pretty too. So, yeah, I really like these. Fuchsia. I think I'm gonna might go. Oh, I do like this fuchsia, but I think I'm gonna go with those vegetables and other one in that first book that we looked at. I might go with that one because <clears throat> I did do the poppies out of this book. I'm pretty sure. Geraniums. I used to paint a lot of geraniums back in the like the 80s. Geraniums were real popular. <laughs> Hi, Holly. I know I'm missing people. Hi, Kenneth. Okay, Bird of Paradise, another pansy, a yucca plant. I do want to take pictures of my own cacti and do uh, drawings and paintings of those, too, from my little cacti garden <laughs> that I did over the weekend. All right, so let's put those down there. Don't let me forget, guys, what time is it here? Um, it is like nine, about 1030 guys, about 1030. We'll do our giveaway. One of the mods can remind me. Thanks guys for all the thumbs up. I looked up and I see lots of thumbs up. Thank you so much. Hi, Susan. Riri enabled again. Amazon has a 72 piece set for $30 with 10% off coupon. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to this one. And again, I'm going to move these little poppies. Oh, I got to keep moving things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch it out. Um, I might use, I don't know, I want to try. I want to try to use the pencils more than the watercolor, right? More than the watercolor themselves. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's move this over here so I have a place to draw. And I am going to use the smoother side. <clears throat> Maybe I should put a piece of black paper behind it. So you can see what I'm actually, what size I'm actually working on here. How's that work? Does that work good? <clears throat> I know, Riri, it... I have not set up an Amazon affiliate, and I know Pacola has given me all the information. It's time, guys. It's, it's That's another thing that will take my time. It's not the setting up of it. It's the keeping up of, with it. Same thing for, like, my Society6. It's not putting stuff up there. It's keeping up with it, keeping up with the sales and, the you know, keeping up with it all. You know, I barely can keep up with, you know, everything I do now. And just streaming two days a week. And I still barely, get, and I don't even get everything done. If I threw in, you know, stores and affiliates and all that, you know, I don't know that 
I mean, maybe some of the some of the people that do Amazon affiliates really push it and really they have full on full on store pages that you have to keep up with um, and make make it they make enough money that it's worth their while. I don't know. You know, I haven't talked to anybody that's really made a significant amount of money on it to make it worth my while. You know, uh, to make it worth my while. And so it's not really what makes me happy, Devin. It's my time. You know, a lot of things, it's not the, it's not what makes you happy. It's just use only so many hours in the day. And, uh, you know, all my hours are pretty much <laughs> used up. So hi, Miss Mickey. How you doing? How the kids? So, uh, like Miss Vicky B, she has, I think she has an Etsy store. She has a... Uh, Patreon, ask her how much, how many hours all that takes. <laughs> you don't see it. You don't see that behind the scenes stuff. You just see us doing a YouTube, you know, a three hour YouTube or, you know, a few videos a week or something. You just, it's a lot. It's a lot of time. It's the last day of kindergarten, Miss Vicki. Oh, do y'all have summer plans? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, Miss Vicky goes, it's a lot, a lot of work. I know it is. Cause uh yeah. <laughs> well, good, Miss Vicky. Enjoy your babies. I mean, I know I love seeing your pictures. They're so cute, so adorable. So, okay, let's go ahead and do uh, I'm just gonna put this little uh, piece of card stock, I mean uh watercolor paper. And again, it's the Stratmore Vision watercolor paper. Real smooth on one side, pretty smooth on the other. So I don't know why I'm, it looks a little fuzzy to me. Oh, maybe we're okay. All right, so let's see what I picked out here. What do I want to start with? I don't want to start with a leaf. Let's see what I want to start. With. Maybe this pansy. Um, I think there was, um, yeah, let's, let's sketch out this little pansy here. Um, this one's in yellow and purples. <clears throat> gonna be relaxing and my six-year-old is doing an urban sketching class oh my gosh your six-year-old is doing an urban sketching class how cool is that how cool is that miss vicky that is awesome <laughs> very cool Yeah, I used to take uh, Cam, you know, we'd go to the museum when he was little and, and he would sketch at the museum. And um, they, they get kind of nervous when they're sketching. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think I'm going to do it at the top and then maybe just write pansy here or something. Or maybe the Latin name for pansy if I can find that or something like that. Uh, I just want to add some brush lettering to it. I think some brush lettering would be nice. But um, the first time I took Cam, I don't even remember how old he was, took him to the museum to draw, you know, go to the museum. And then he could, we could both sketch at the museum. Um, he was kind of nervous because people were like looking over his shoulder. But the first time somebody came up to him, the first time somebody came up to him and told him, oh, wow, you're really good. Or I really like that. That's all it took. That's all it took. He was all in it then. He was like, okay. <laughs> so uh, after that, he wasn't ever really afraid to draw in public. <laughs> and I know you probably can't see this very well. Maybe I, uh, if I zoom in too much, you won't be able to see pencil. Maybe I can zoom in one. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't want to get it too, I don't want to lose the clarity of the, I don't want to get fuzzy. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. I want to do this. I want to bring this down. You know, I just want a general um, pansy shape here. And kind of big, but because I want to kind of fill this, this area here.
Uh, I'm not trying to duplicate every little wave and every little, you know, thing. You could do that because it's good practice to uh, try to uh, get a good contour. But I'm just trying to... Um, Get a general pop, uh, pansy. I keep wanting to say poppy. Something like this. And then have some of the veins kind of coming down here. I'm going to make this one connected. You know, he has like a separate little leaf there. I kind of want mine connected there. So we'll see what we can do with the color pencils. Again, I haven't really tested these color pencils um, other than swatching them. Okay, so there we go. It's a little sketch there. And maybe just one little stem thing here. Maybe a little stem. And then if we do any uh, brush lettering, we can go over it. But anyway, I think that's good. All right, so let's give this a go. Let's give it a test. Let's Before we try to do anything with watercolors themselves, let's just try to use the pencils. <clears throat> all right, let's see what we can get all in, get all in here. sip of juice all right I almost want to do a little test like color test on it I think that would look kind of cool all right let's maybe we'll do that too all right so I do have my swatches here so I can kind of pick if I'm not sure what what colors they are or what they will do this this yellow is kind of very a uh, pale so, and I'm going to swatch over here. Let's just do some little swatches. That one's kind of bright. <clears throat> Let's see. What's this one? Ivory. Ivory is what? Is, what color is this? Is this one a uh, yellow sapphire? Is this one ivory? Yeah, this one's ivory. I'm thinking that might be a little more close to the picture anyway. Of course, you don't have to go by the picture. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to do some little tests on it. I think it looks cool. But I'm, I'm liking the ivory color. And then in the flower itself, it's got a little bit of, uh, you know, like a golden color. So maybe this one. That might be a little too bright. Let's see. Let's go with uh, something a little more brown. Let's put it on this side. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we got those three. And then for the aubergine, the purple color. Let's see what we got here. Let me flip over to my... I'm going to flip over to my purples. Eggplant. No, that's... Uh, UBE, whatever that, somebody said what it was, but let's see, here we go. That card needs a little bit, something with a little bit more blue to it, what color is this one? Amethyst, let's see, well, maybe between those two, that might be good enough, although a little bit of a light color, oh, I'm going to shade them out, I'm going to blend them out, right? But just to have it look pretty on here, I'm going to go ahead and put like a lilac on here too. Because I want three colors. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use that color, but I want it on the little thing. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Anybody else? Have, I hope I haven't missed it. Hi, Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use, just to do these little swatches here, I'm just going to use my watercolor brush. Okay. Okay. Uh, Get my little my little clean the clean the brush Kleenex here. All right, let's start with this light yellow here. I've got one wild hair that I must have not. I, 
you got to be careful when you put the lids on your brushes. You won't be able to see it probably. But there's one hair that I, when I put the brush on it, I must have caught one of the hairs. And now it's bent. So let's just cut that off. Okay. Just going to do a little swatch of each. So I want to test. I'm going to try to use just, and I, I didn't pull a color for the stem yet. I'm going to just try to do it with just watercolor pencils, although I can see in my future how I would use the watercolor pencils would be as the accents, the shading, you know, details. That's how I would probably use them. But I'm going to try to just do the whole flower with just the watercolor pencils. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's start with um, let's start with the um, amethyst. And I want to do the centers of the yellow here. I think. Well, that's probably not recommended. To, you should probably do the yellow first because they could smear. It. Oh yeah, they are a little blended together. All right. So I'm just gonna start. And again, I'm not trying to necessarily duplicate this exactly. You know, I, I, I just want it as my inspiration reference because no two flowers are alike. There's never going to be another flower exactly like that one. Am I close enough, guys? Are we good? Do I need to zoom? I can probably zoom in one more here. Just we lose a little bit of clarity every time we do that. Um, and it gets a little bit of... Um, I don't want to lose the sharpness or the, I don't want to get fuzzy is what I'm saying. I don't want to get light and fuzzy. So I'm trying to keep the light situation true. That's pretty good for the paper. I look like I have a nice tan, but this looks kind of correct. Let's try the white balance thing there. Let's no. Let's try to do this myself. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. How's that look? Bye, Shirley. Thanks for stopping in. All right, so I'm going to just put a little bit of the, try not to put a shadow on there for you. Try to keep my hand back far enough. So who else here, even ink tints, how, who else here has used watercolor pencils and or ink tints? I know a lot of y'all have used Neocolors, Neocolor 2 water soluble, Carndosh crayons. And just put a couple little flicks in there. I can go in there with brown if I need to or that ochre color. Oh, that's Sienna. It looks like yellow and then I realized I was wearing <laughs> You're wearing your blue filter computer glasses, Devin. <laughs> Cajun loves watercolor. I have way too many. See, I've done a few watercolors and I've shown them. You know, I just, it's not my favorite medium. But, you know, all the girls are doing it. So, you know, I had to join in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So, let's see. Let's kind of come around here like something like that let's make that a little bigger all right so let's uh just kind of base in i'm just going to lightly pencil in a nice base here right around the edge you can always go back and add more okay i don't want to i don't want to lose my yellow center there has a little bit of green in it, so we need to get a green out as well. So let's just and again, if y'all did not watch Janet's show yesterday, where she uh, she picked a very complicated painting to uh, try to uh, practice on, and she did awesome. We were all very impressed, Miss Janet. 
<laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, Heather. Uh, Holly D. Now, Dee Dee, if other girls drew wings and tried to fly with you, I might. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you never know. <laughs> kind of going around where I drew there, and then I'll, I'll kind of erase my uh, pencil line. Something like that. Okay, so a little bit of graphite around the top there and you really should take you know I've got I've got my big um whoops sorry guys I have this big um sweeping brush you know but you, you just use a little fluffy brush if you don't want a ginormous one just to you shouldn't like rub your hand over it and I'm the worst for doing that but you really shouldn't because you'll get smudges and uh yeah And again, it's not exactly like this one here. I just wanted a little bit uh, more connected over on this side. Something like that. All right, now let's, uh, let's go with the ivory color. And I'm going to just put it everywhere else. And we'll see how we can blend this. And I'm going to try it with a water brush first. Very light, and then I can kind of on it lighten up some of that graphite, even though I'm going to go around it with some of the uh, sienna color. I just don't want a lot of graphite on there. You lighten it up as much. You can take a, you know, your kneaded eraser. You take your kneaded eraser and pick some of it up too. Are we? Oh, let me move. Let me move center here. There we go. That's probably a little better. Okay, th thank you. Hi, Kathy, by the way. Anybody else I missed? <clears throat> okay. Um, I need some kind of, this is my little uh, clean my brush Kleenex there. Let's see. I just want a nice olive. This is, oh, I should put that on here. Hang on. I want to put on here every color we're using because I think it looks cool. <laughs> I just think it looks cute to have the little color swatch next to it. Okay, thanks, Gary. What did Faithful say? I know she likes watercolor. Let me see if I can... I missed what she said. Eh. I like the little swatch. I do too, Devin. I like the little swatch. Because <laughs> that's what they, well, you can't see. The, see, the artist did that kind of swatchy, swatchies next to it. Let's move up there a little. There we go. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and put, I'm just going to kind of solid color in this. And then there's a little bit of green in the center there. Then a little bit with the sienna color. Well, it's, uh, what is it called? Burn, burn ochre. 
the center and then kind of around some of the edges of the flower here and maybe I should be doing it one stage at a time with the pencils you know putting all the yellow watering it down then going in and blending on top with the purple and then watering it down but I'm just put I'm just doing it this way <laughs> just to see what happens we're gonna see what happens okay so I'm gonna do the some of the veins here And see how well it blends. Do you know what I mean, Vern? See how well I can blend it as, as I wet it. And we can always go ahead and add it, you know, make it anything darker. Everyone say congrats to Faithful. I missed something. What, Faithful? Why am I not seeing what Faithful said? Where are you, girl? <laughs> what happened with Faithful? A little shadow back in here. You are going to finish that, aren't you, Janet? Oh, yay. Congratulations, Faithful. Faithful got a thousand subbies. Congratulations. That's a milestone, Faithful Mess. That is a milestone. For sure. Congratulations. I know everybody's congrats. You're going to finish it on stream, Janet? Okay. You can do it. You can do it, girl. You can do it. All right. So did I have it? Let's see. Now, let me go with my um, darker purple. The UBE is what it's called. And I want to get some of that in there. I don't know if it'll matter at this, you know, I might need to do some of the darker, um, uh, what was it? Amethyst before this will show up, but we're going to, I'm just going to try to put it all in there. All in people, all in. <laughs> oh, good, Cheryl. Cheryl says, I've also been inspired by Ian and Janet. I got to finish my Ian. Um, if y'all weren't here on Monday, we did a couple different streams. We did two. And uh, on one of them, we took one of Ian's watercolors and he made line art out of it. He made line art out of one of his watercolors and he put it up on Facebook and he let everybody go and uh, download it if they want to. And, um, Use it to either watercolor, color pencil, whatever you want to do on top. You know, like a line art color book page. So I wanted to try to do the colors. I, w I wanted his painting as an inspiration for colors. I wasn't trying to duplicate the watercolorness of his watercolor. I wanted to try to replicate the colors that he used with Prismacolor pencils. So that's what we did. All right, so there we go. So we're going to add some water now. Drum roll. <laughs> Hi, Lady Jan. <laughs> uh, thank you, Heather. I, yeah, I got to get fit. I got to. Oh, well, here. Let me see. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Why am I trying to make my own drum roll? I have a soundboard. Where is it? Um, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I am going to start with the lightest. Well, I'm going to start just a little in that center where that, um, 
Oh, I don't want to lose that little center of, um, <laughs> thank you, hi, CB, of uh, Sienna. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the, um, there's a little bit of the green there, the kind of lime green right there in the middle. All right, so I think I'm going to work my way out in with the, um, well, let's go ahead and do the stem. And we'll just see what happens. I've got my Kleenex here to clean my brush as we go or to get rid of X, you know, if I have too much pigment on the brush, you can wipe it back. And we'll see what happens. All right. I might have to turn it a little. I try not to turn anything when I'm on camera here. Okay, so let's try to do a little bit of that shading that I added right along the edge there. I'll probably have to add more, you know, because it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, lighten up. You know, it's going to lighten out. But let's see what we can do here. And I'm not squeezing any water out. I can already tell I'm going to have to add another layer of yellow, brighter yellow. I mean, this is a, a muted yellow. It's It looks brighter on camera to me. Uh, but it's, it is it is a kind of a muted yellow, but I'm going to have to add a little bit more. Because I use the ivory, and I think I'm going to have to go in here and use the, oh, here it is, use the um, yellow sapphire on top. So let's go ahead and just kind of get this all washed in, like an initial wash here. I'm just taking my time because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. I mean, I've, I've used, you know ink tints and stuff before and i have used watercolors what i mean uh, watercolor pencils way back when but uh it, it's been a long long time and they were the they were some i think the old derwent ones with uh, the gray barrels i mean i'm talking 30 years ago <laughs> i don't even know how old those pencils were i think i gave most of them away because i never used my watercolor pencils and uh, then I started using ink tents a little bit. And I, I like it okay, but it, it, it's hard to get it to dissolve to my satisfaction. And then I use, when I, once I went to Neo Color 2, I, I really didn't use much of anything else for a long time because I love my Neo Color 2 water soluble. Make sure if you get Neo Color crayons, the water soluble crayons, let me show you them real quick in case you don't know what they are. I think everybody here knows, but if you get any Neo Color water soluble crayons, make sure they're Neo Color 2 water soluble. Because if you get Neo Color 1, they are just a wax crayon. They will not dissolve with water. So you want to make sure to get Neo Color 2. And they're a crayon. And how I use them is, you know, I mean, you can color directly with them, but they're so highly pigmented. You can just pull it off the tip. Janet uses them on the back. So she has like a little hole in the back of hers where she's used them from the back. I just think it's easier just to kind of flick it like that. Where's my little, here. So you can do it like this. And so it's, water, it's watercolor in a stick essentially you know and you can use it straight on for a real lot of pigment and also how i like to use them is by let me get a different color so i'm gonna stack this back up is you can um what's going on here go into the tray um you can color on your lid here let me get the brown off and you can pick it up like this. So you can pick it up like a, it'll be just like a little watercolor palette. So you can just pick, pick it up off the tray like that. You know, and if you want it more concentrated, take it off the tip and add more. And, of course, you dry between layers, you know, to get it. So, hi, Robin. Anybody else I missed? Kathy. Kathy G. Um so, you, you know, once I started using these, I really felt no need for any other kind of, you know, for what we do here with watercolors. But uh, 
you know, if you want to do a painting or something, I like the Ganzai Tambi sets, um, you know, but because uh, Annie for Mother's Day, I got these, uh, the, the watercolor, the Artesia watercolor and the Artesia pencils. So that's true, Janet. Janet says, I like that you can do large areas with the Neo2 and spread with the baby wipe. So you can do a big area. I just don't do much paintings, like full on paintings. I do stuff like this or use it as bases and bits in my, you know, in our color book pages. Uh, I just don't do real paintings, you know, of watercolor. I mean, you know, you've seen me do a few, but I, I just, it's not my, it's not my thing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and do this background here. Let's see. Again, it may be, it might behoove you to do one color at a time, layer, you know, put the color on, dry it, and then put the next shade darker on there. But I just thought, let's just let's just play with the whole the whole thing at once. See what happens. <laughs> Hi, Blue. How you doing? Anybody else I missed? Thanks everybody for popping in. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Thanks for y'all are y'all are on here on a good day. The first Wednesday of the month, we're doing a we do a book giveaway today. It's the Nocturnes Anastasia color book. Very expensive to ship. And uh, that one and the one other one we gave away last week. Of the, uh, this one here. The fairy tale princess book. This one we gave away last week. Oh, oh anyone show? So that's a surprise. Um, Kristen Glorious Inc. And you can find her on um, Instagram and Twitter. I'm not sure if she's on Facebook. But she, you know, everybody has a Facebook group for everything. And by the way, guys, I think I left all my Facebook groups. I, I was not being able to participate in any of them. Color book groups, um, individual groups. Like I was in Bennett Klein's and I was in, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's the big eye girl? You know, all of them. I was in like 10, 15 color book groups and I was not being able to, I had no time to participate, no time to participate in any of them. Yeah. So I just said, well, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So I left all of them. <laughs> so I just didn't have time. You know, it's no offense to anybody. I liked all the groups I was in, all 15 of them or whatever, but I just could had no time for any of them. I know, right, CB? So anyway, we gave this one away. Kenny and uh, Melody got us this one and the one we're giving away today, which is where I put it. Where did I put you? Little giveaway book. Where is it? What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. This one. So we're going to give away this one today. Nocturnes by Anastasia Ellie Coldariva. And you can get them both on Etsy. Um, this one, this girl, she's an, out of Germany. And Anastasia's out of Russia. So get them on Etsy. Um, at least they're on Etsy now. They didn't used to be. Uh, well, a Anastasia didn't used to be on Etsy. You used to have to buy it. <laughs> and the book caught, and the shipping was more than the book. So, um, yeah. But, uh, okay, so let's keep going here. Um, let's do the centers here. So that's what we're going to give away here shortly. And I do ship international. That being said, I always clarify that with I cannot track international. So we finger cross that, you know, the post office gets it to you if it goes you know, UK, Canada, Australia, wherever it goes, because I cannot track it uh, international. I do put it in a um, priority tracked envelope in the States, 
but I can't do that international. So just FYI, you know, I do my best, do my best to get it to you people. Exactly, Cajun. Exactly. It's it's crazy. But I think uh, now that they're on Etsy, um, and also uh, the Asian books, don't forget you can get them at 70 East or Cool Craft Colors on uh, Etsy for any of the Asian books. So, yeah. All right. So there we go. There's a base. There's a base coat. Yeah. Um, I wasn't in any of the groups that did courses, Lady Jan. I was just in groups where you would share your color book pages. You would share your acrylic paintings. You would share whatever, you know, your pet portraits, your, and then there's the different ones that, um, like I might still be in pan pastel, but even that I really need to get out of because I don't post there. And I don't, you know, I don't feel like I'm a part of the group. If I'm not participating in a group, then I really don't feel like, why am I there? I'm not participating. I'm not encouraging. I'm not helping. I'm not posting. Why am I there? I have no time for any of it. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't have time for uh, all the Facebook groups. And I, I never have had a face group of my own I because I know I don't have time. So I've never made my own. Um, yeah, exactly, Terry. I've never, I knew how much time a Facebook takes, a Facebook group page. I mean, ask Ann or Jen Reading with Pugs or anybody that has Facebook groups. And you got moderators, you got to keep up with it. It's very, very time consuming. If you guys are in a group, I don't care what group it is, whose group it is in. If you are in a Facebook group, um, please you know, try to participate and try to help out because it's very time consuming for the owners of those groups. Yeah, I'm using Arteza watercolor pencils and so far that's all I've put in. So I've got to darken it and everything. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun to dry it. People are always ask me, Dee, do you need a Facebook group? You know, no, yeah, it might, might be nice. I don't have time for it. And I just don't want other people running a group that I start. It's just like, that's not why people want to join your group. They want to join the group because you're there, you know. And um, so I just never have started a Facebook group. Um, they're all right, Scooby. It's hard to tell. I'm going to start layering now. I'm going to start layering them now. They're not chalky and neither are the um, neither are the watercolors or the gouache. Neither one of them are chalky. They're not that inexpensive. I mean, they're budget friendly, but they're not so budget friendly that they're that chalky, cheap watercolor in either the pencil or the watercolor. You know, they're neither one have are really chalky and all that. Uh, and the same thing with, you know, people go, well, do you need to do your own color book? Well, you know, have you ever talked to Laura or any of the ones that have done their own color book? It's at least a year, at least a year's worth of work that you're, you know, dedicating to it. I don't want to dedicate a year to making a color book. I got other things to do. <laughs> That's just me, you know. You got to pick your priorities. Thank you, Sharon. All right. So now... Let's go ahead and let me make sure it's perfectly dry because I'm going to add another layer. All right, so now let's go ahead and add the brighter yellow. I want to add the brighter yellow to it. And uh, so let's just go ahead and add another layer on top. And, of course, all your papers are going to matter too. You know, this paper, this is the Vision Strathmore. 140 weight watercolor paper on the smooth side. They're both smooth, but I, I'd call them both, you know, fairly smooth. But one feels more hot press and more one more cold press um, on the paper pad. And I just cut the paper pad up into these sizes. So I'm going to add a layer of the yellow. And I kind of lost some of these... Uh, spiky bits the the uh it's not really stamens it's more just the inside there's like a spiky area so what i'll probably end up doing there is adding some posca and getting it back 
Uh, is this the paper you use? Yeah, it's not horrible. Now it's not your, it's not going to be Arches. It's not going to be well, the, what's the other brand that you know? It's it's for what I'm doing, guys. This these little studies like this. This is you know fine. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the uh, amethyst. Is that my darkest purple I have? Let me see. I think it is. Yeah, this amethyst is my darkest purple. I could add a. I, I don't really want to add any black, but so I'm going to just darken. And of course, you know, I'm not trying to copy it exactly. Like I said, guys, a little study. These are going to go out to my YouTube channel supporters, like all my other ones did. So I can't show you the originals. I can show you photos. I kept. I keep photos of everything. I got. I need to. Uh, my photo. At least my photos are clouded. But I have on my phone. I have almost four thousand pictures. <laughs> They are clouded, so, you know, but, uh, but you never know. I, me and Janet were talking about that, um, you know, young people, especially, you know, I know Boo and Cam, they'll Snapchat each other. And, you know, Snapchat, that's gone, you know. And even if you save photos on your phone, uh, you save photos on your phone, you, you know, something happens to your phone. And if you don't have it clouded or what happens if the cloud, you know, goes away? <laughs> you know, you've lost all those pictures. So you need to at least print out some pictures. You don't have to be a scrap uh, scrapbooker. You know, you don't have to be that much. Um, oh, thank you, Kim. You don't have to be that dedicated to your pictures. But you should have some because, you know, it, you really never know. You really don't. Print out some pictures. All right, I'm I'm can go in here with more of these little lines and stuff once I get it as dark here as I want. So something like that. Yeah, I have almost four thousand pictures on my phone. Okay, so now I want to be careful not to pick up, you know, all the paint that I just laid down. I just want to kind of, just kind of get this a little blended here. And I'm probably way overworking it for a watercolor. You know, watercolorists are probably watching me going, oh, Lord, you're way overworking that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and IG, you know, IG, I, I don't do Facebook as much. And again, I don't have a group or anything. And you don't have to follow me or me follow you to see my art on Facebook. All my art I make public. I have different folders of uh, art on my Facebook. I have um, portraits, pet portraits, color book pages. I, probably about, I don't know, maybe eight different eight or 10 different folders on Facebook that are public. Anybody can go look at any of my art. So if I don't follow you on Facebook, it, it, I, I'm just hardly there. I'm not there over there talking much, you know, I mean, I'll share my art and I'll look at other artists and I have a few artists that, you know, I follow over there and, and talk with, but I just, I'm not, a, I don't, I, most of my talking is done on Twitter. If you want to talk to me, then I'm on Twitter, Inkywell, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L -L, or Dee Dee Willingham. They're both there. I mean, it's the same account. I mean, it's just that's my Twitter. So if you want to, you know, talk to me or follow me or something. And then also Instagram. Instagram, I do not talk at all. <laughs> I just post pictures. I mean, I'll comment on people's stuff. You know, I'll comment on other people's work. And I will um, do that. But I don't, I'm not, don't talk about anything over there on Instagram. Instagram is just for art pictures and a few cat pictures. Oh, did I show you all my cat picture? Hang on, let me, let me show you this picture. I, post, I did post this on Instagram. Um, Yeah, inky well with an eye right here. Look at those sweet little babies. <laughs> Look at her little curly curly toes. 
they were hunkered in together. <laughs> Isn't it adorbs, guys? I know. So, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of the children. <laughs> I try to post them on Twitter, too, but, yeah. Not everybody likes Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so let's see. It's looking a little... I don't know. It's looking a little flat or something. I'm not sure. It, it needs more contrast, more, you know, it's not, this is very dark purple. I guess I'm going to have to go in there with some either dark brown or, um, cause that, these are my darkest purples that came with the set. Uh, or I can go in here with some watercolor. I don't really, I didn't really want to do that yet. Maybe let's try maybe a dark, dark blue. What's my darkest blue? Indigo? Let's see. What do I got here? Is indigo my darkest blue? Yeah, here's indigo. Let's try some indigo. <laughs> Let's see here. This may or may not. It may just make it too blue. I don't know. See how it's making it blue. We'll have to flick some in here now. But, you know, pansies are all shades of purple and blue and with yellow accents. And, you know, there's, there's all different colors of uh, pansies. But I'll go ahead and throw in some blue now. All right. Now, where's my water brush? Let's just kind of blend that in. Now, I don't want to get to the point where I've added so many layers uh, on this paper. It's going to start to pill. You know, now you could not do all these layers like I'm doing here on a color book page without it pilling. You know, it, it would pill. All right. So I think what I'll do is... I'll do all the little, uh, let's take, um, let, let, me, let me see here. Let me take, see how I can flick some out. Maybe easier just with the pencil. No, I want the purple. That's too blue. Let's go back with the amethyst. Let me sharpen this. I want to sharpen it to get some nice spiky. Where's my, where's my pencil? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> This is my pencil sharpener. You got these pencils for Mother's Day too, Kim. Have you used them much? This is my first real use of them. Okay, so I just want to make some nice sharp flicks. See, I've already gone way too far with the flicks into this into the flower itself. I've kind of stopped looking at the reference. I'm just doing what I want to do over here now. You know, I'm so used to shading with pencils, you know, pencil shading. But I need these nice little flicks there. I don't know. Maybe I'll just, I might go with the black just for the very deep, deep. Let's see. Right in the very, and there is black in uh, pansies too. You know, the little centers, that little face in there. I just like that high contrast. I want that in there. Oh, you're going to try to play with them tomorrow? Okay. And I don't have to wet all this either. I can leave some of it just dry. All right, so now I want that. I'm going to get my white Posca because I want brighter. And I could have been more careful and gone around, you know, not to lose those whites. <coughs> Okay, let's see. I do want this. What is it, baby girl? I hear you. You want up here? All right, come on. Let's see if I can make some room for you. Come on. There you go. She's right there. She'll probably stick her little head over here in a minute. I see you. 
I know you want some pets. Okay, you're gonna have to lay down. You're gonna have to lay down. I, let me give a minute. Let me get a pet moment in. <laughs> oh. This is Malibu, the little girl, the one that talks. No, you can't go. Don't get on. No, no, no. Stay right there. <clears throat> I'll pet you for a minute, then we got to put you down. I know. She's purring away. I don't know if you can hear, but she's purring. It's a pretty little girl. You want to look up at the camera and get the baby girl? My camera's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty good. It's um, it's the next one up after the uh, C nine thirty E. It's like the. It's called the Pro. <coughs> okay, let's get down. But the software is the same. It's got the same um, setting software. It's, it uses the nine thirty E software, <coughs> but it's called the Pro. All right. What do y'all think? I think it needs some white highlights in there, maybe. She's she's going to lay down over there now and go to sleep. Look. <laughs> so sometimes they're both laying up here I don't usually care if they're up here when, when I'm not streaming it's when I'm streaming that they like to come over on this side of the camera and unplug it <coughs> not on purpose but you know I've got a cord going across to my laptop <laughs> okay so I don't know what do y'all think does that look good does that look done enough um, a little more here, maybe a little bit more green in there. I'm not loving it, I'm telling you. I'm not absolutely love, love, loving it. Uh, maybe it's these edges I'm not loving. Maybe if I can kind of feather out some of those edges, I might like it a little better. Where's my Kleenex here? Some lost edges, you know. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. For just testing, pencil testing. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Okay, I better stop. I don't I don't know that I can I'm just gonna start moving moving paint around, you know. So on the next one, what we're gonna do is I'm not going to put all the colors on at once. That's what I did on here. We're testing. I'm not gonna put all the colors on at once. I'm gonna do like one color at a time with the color pencils. I mean the watercolor pencils. Let's see if I can lighten up a couple little areas up here. I'm just kind of like removing, removing some of the paint. And if y'all want a really good watercolorist, The Mind of Watercolor, Steve, his YouTube channel, The Mind of Watercoloring. I think that's what it's called, The Mind of Watercolor. Maybe one of the mods know. Um, Jean would know, but Jean's not here, I don't think. You need a hot time. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I usually have my hot coffee, uh, but by this time, the coffee's gone cold. My coffee's cold, so I'm drinking uh, my juice, which usually helps. But, uh, and I know that I do it to myself because I sleep with a fan. 
I mean, we have the air conditioner, but I also have a fan blowing in my face. Well, not like right in my face, but, you know, a fan is blowing. So that like makes me clogged, clogged up. The Mind of Watercolor is a great channel. Yes, AJ. Yeah. His name is Steve. Yeah. I think I've followed him since his very, very beginning of his uh, art channel, his YouTube channel. He's got tons. He's got, th hun I don't know, a couple hundred. Th I'm not sure. He's got a huge channel now. So I'm going to kind of lighten up some of this. Just kind of knocking it back a little. Pulling it back. Same for over here. Just got a little heavy. Watercolor shouldn't be heavy, you know. Light and airy. But be using these pencils, you know, I'm not used to that. I like that a little better. All right, so I think I'm going to stop. Yeah, it has more red in it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop now. I don't know. Do we want to do a word like maybe purple? A pur Let's just write purple poppy. How about that? Let's just write purple poppy. I should probably do a test. <laughs> Size-wise, you know. Let's see here. Let's put this right here. And let's do a test down here. Let's see here. Uh, I just want the size. Let's see. Purple. So it'll fit. Purple poppy. Oh, it's not a poppy. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Pansy. Thank you for the correction. Everybody's going, pansy, pansy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I would have wrote. I would have wrote poppy. But I was thinking of this one here, you know. <laughs> when we did this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, so that's about the size that I want it. I just had to do a little bit of a test. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to go for it. Now, do I want it? I can also, do, let me do a little um, script test. We can do it like, we can do it uh, like uh, slanted, you know, scripty like. We can do it more sideways or we could try to do more. Um, I've been trying more, practicing more with doing, um, cause I write straight up and down. My writing is more straight up and down you my regular writing. So when I do something and I want some notations or something, and I want to do some pretty script in it, it looks very, um, I don't want to say unbalanced, but it does kind of, let me get a pen here. It was kind of unbalanced when I'm writing something like, um, and I write very tiny and with a tiny uh, Sharpie pen. Um, this one's not a Sharpie pen. This is just a Staples. But anyway, so like if I was going to write purple, you won't be able to see this. Pansy. So if I was going to write in my normal handwriting straight up and down, and then I have this uh, slanted script, it just doesn't go together. Well, and you don't have to. It doesn't have to. I mean, it could be a contrast. But so I've been trying to practice doing more straight up and down and that's hard to do guys it's it's harder to do a flourishy script straight up and down at least it is to me see so that just looks more balanced when you're doing a sub a sub lettering you know, like that, it just looks more like it goes together than that slanted script. Hi, little Anna. Hi, little Anna. Here's my recommendation for adding lettering. If you don't feel proficient, sketch it lightly. With and I do, I did do that with this one, Janet. When I did this one, I did do it in pencil first. Bye, Amy. I did sketch that out in pencil. 
when I did this one. Of course, it was bigger. This this is a this is a shrunk down uh, print of the big sheet because I did it on like I think it was eleven by fourteen. It was big. It was a big one. Big mama jama. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, I need some kind of edging. I'm not liking the edge of this yellow. It's like this. It's plain, but it needs more to me. It it needs. It needs some thick and thins or something. It needs, it needs this. A little more something, something. See, I like that better than that. Again, guys, if you're just joining us, I'm practicing with the watercolor pencils. And I was trying to do it just on, at least on this one, without using any other watercolor, just using the watercolor pencils. No, no pre-washing with uh, watercolor. <clears throat> Oops. Push too hard right there. Something just a little more oomph. Okay, now I like it better. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take my purple um, touch pen, and they're like they're kind of like a flare marker, but they bend more than the flare. They're a little bit longer than like a flare marker. Uh, I think they're called Eye Touch. You can get them on Jet Pen. Uh, th there's the there's the Japanese writing on there, but Touch. I can't. Eh, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. All right, so now we're going to try to write purple. Uh, I'm going to go to try to do it straight up and down like that. It's probably not going to be as neat because I can write much nicer slanted with the um, brush pen than straight up and down. But I like the way I, I'm trying to learn this. So I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Well, I'm just going to go for it here. And it's heavy pressure on the downstroke. It's thick on the downstroke, thin on the upstroke. Heavy on the downstroke, thin on the upstroke. That's how you do your letter, brush lettering. Okay, so let's see. And you really want to go slow. And I could do some drop lettering if I really wanted to, you know, be... Fancy. Let's see. See, I messed that up. I got thick right there. Dang it. Can't fix it now. See right there? That shouldn't be thick. Should be thin like that. So now I'm going to have to make this one thicker so it looks like it goes together. <laughs> Got to have them that like look at least look consistent. Okay, so then I'm gonna drop down here and do pansy a little bit down here. So now I've got to do the thick upstroke to do that P. Maybe this needs a curve on it, too. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. <laughs> but you know what I want to do now? I mean, I, I, I got you guys. I want some dark purple flicks up in here. I can't help it. Stop me. I can't help it. 
It needs some of that same dark that's in the... It needs some of the same stuff that's in the writing. Up in the uh, flower. Okay. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, me back Cajun? Okay, so anyway, there's that. I could sign it down real low here. Let me get this. I'm not liking this Staples pen. I just happened to grab one out. Let me grab this whole. Hang on. Where is. I know I have a Sharpie pen in here somewhere. Or at least a Faber Castell S. Yeah, that's that one. We'll do the giveaway and then we'll do some more. Thanks everybody for the thumbs up. I'm not sure where to sign this one. I guess just really down here. There we go. So somebody will be getting this. Somebody will be getting that one. Hi, Gail. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. Let's do our giveaway, and then we're going to do... Um, sorry, sorry, Malibu, I have to take that. The book is warm. <laughs> the book is warm right here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sean. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, guys. All right, so let me pick the next one I'm going to do. Um, like this. What did I have over here that we passed by? A leaf. Maybe we'll do a green leaf. Oh, I don't know what flower that is. It's just a little, it's just a little orange thing. But maybe, um, maybe a couple of little falling petals. Some orange falling petals and a green leaf. You know, a random green leaf here. Maybe we'll do that next. What else did I pick? Oh, this pear. I did the other pear. Y'all remember I did the pear, the onion, the artichoke, and I, I sent, they're all gone. They're all, they all went bye-bye. <laughs> but I do love me some, I think I'm going to do that pear. And again, I'll do some little tests. But I think on this one, guys, I'm going to try to do it one color at a time. In other words, with the watercolor pencils, I'm not going to put all the colors on and then try to blend them all together. I'll do it one color at a time rather than try to blend them all together. Bye, Devin. Wait one minute, Devin. If you can wait one minute, we're going to do the giveaway now. Can you wait one minute? All right, now let me explain the, the giveaway, guys. Let's hope we don't get disconnected. <laughs> if we get disconnected, I don't know what I come back. Yeah, I guess I could come back. Okay, so here's the deal. When I type in go, when I type in go, put one number between one and let's do between one and 150. Okay? Between one, well, then can't let me get a sharpie. Between one and 150. And thanks everybody for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay. I will bring up random.org, put in one number only. If you put in multiple numbers, you will be we you will be disqualified. The closest without going over will win the nocturnes. One number only. All right, let me go over here to my uh, random.org. Wait till I type in go. Don't dilly dally because once I put in stop. Then there's the numbers after that don't count. So hang on. Uh, let me let me get random.org first. Okay, so I got my random.org. Let me turn down the light because it won't show up. Okay, so I'm going to put in between 1 and 150. Okay, I'm not going to generate yet. I'll generate. I'll generate after we get all the numbers in, but we put in between 1 and 150. Okay, one number only. Yes. <laughs> K. 
Okay. And if your numbers, if, if, it, if YouTube puts it up, um, not showing or what, there's a word, I don't know how they put it, but if it says it's not showing, the mods will click the approval of your number. Your number will show. All right, we're going to stop again now. I, did y'all see me type in go? We'll just wait. Yeah, I'll just wait till everybody um, stops. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so hard. I thought I said it when I typed in go. So, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Janet. Janet goes, now y'all know why we have to repeat the rules over and over. Seven people went in and put numbers in. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Now go. Now you see my number, <laughs> my, my goes in there. <laughs> I know. It's hurting cats, people. It is hurting cats. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So y'all get about two minutes, get about two minutes or when, or until I see numbers stopping. And then when, once I type in stop, no other numbers count. <laughs> it's really kind of funny. It's sad and funny at the same time. Yes, yeah, Zeely, Zeely hurting cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I, and I will count it down. So get your numbers in. Don't dilly dally. Don't dilly dally. <laughs> and then we'll do a pair and a couple. Of, maybe we'll try to do a couple others. <laughs> All right, get your numbers in. <clears throat> Take a sip of juice. I count down. All right, <clears throat> ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, get a man, get a man, three, two, one. Okay, no more numbers. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here to random.org. Ready? Ready? We're going to generate. It's 150. So the closest to 150, whoever had the highest number, <laughs> whoever had the highest number is going to win. <laughs> the first person. So if there's duplicate numbers, if there's duplicate numbers, it's the first person. The first person. I don't think I've ever had that happen. <clears throat> can't I can't do anything about the lag, Kenny, or anybody else. We do our best here, guys. We do our best. <laughs> AJ goes, well, at least nobody went over. <laughs> Good one, AJ. Oh, okay. Kathy Adair had 149. Are we, was she the first person or the only person? So we have Kathy, is it C with a C? Kathy Adair. I think I wrote that down right. Kathy Adair had 149. Okay, wait a minute. Kathy, oh, Kathy Arbor or Kathy Adair? Is it Kathy Arbor? I see two people, different names. Can I have another name, please? I mean, the last name. Is it Adair or is it Kathy Arbor? I know who Kathy Arbor is, but I don't know who Kathy Adair is. Okay, Pacola said it's Kathy Adair. Okay, so I don't know Kathy Adair. So Kathy Adair, email me your address. There's my address. Okay, congratulations. Okay. Email me your address and I will send you out the Nocturnes book by Anastasia Ellie Colderive. I'll do a quick little flip here just so y'all can kind of see the book a little bit. 
Thank you, uh, Melody and Kenny, for your giveaway books that you've been sending. Thank you so much. Okay, so you can see here. It is an amazing book, isn't it, Sean? You're welcome. I, I do my best, guys. Me and the me and the mods, herding cats. You know, we do our best. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Okay, so don't forget to email me your address now. Okay, Kathy? All right, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead and go back to um, our watercoloring, shall we? Get another piece of paper here. <laughs> now you want it now that you saw it, Cajun. I know it's a beautiful book. But uh, you know, shipping is redonkerous. You know, we all know that. Uh you're scared to color in it. Uh Sean, well, make a copy. In, you know, I just like to tell people if you if you're afraid to color in any book, make a copy of just a little section of the page or something and do a little practice. Do a little practice test. Okay, Kenny, that's okay. I understand. I know. I hear you go, girl, girl. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and let's sketch out this pair. And uh, this is this is bugging me. Let's let's move that out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna sketch out this. Um, thank you, Terry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to sketch out another. We we did a pair. Um, this is a different pair, though, from the last one we did. Um, this one has more orange in it, I think, and it's a little bit different shape. So what I'm going to do on this one now, instead of um, instead of trying to put all the all the colors on at once. I'm going to try to lay, you know, layer it more. Okay. Yeah, I know, Donna. I know. It's, uh, it, I know. <laughs> we all have that happen to, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful book. All right, so there we go. That's a little bit of a pair there. And then it's got a little bit of a, wrinkly bottom here well not really wrinkled but you know <laughs> something close to that all right all right now let's see i do want this color this green that i already picked out let me get my pencils or the cat's laying on half my stuff all right so let's go over here to the oranges okay so i think i'm gonna want this these two oranges i'm going to make a little make another little chart there this green i'll probably want um the lime green i'll tell you all the names here in a minute um and kind of a it's almost like a forest green jade maybe and then a little bit of brown maybe this i'll, I'll do those that one too and then a little bit of this brown. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go, we're gonna work with these. It's probably not every color I could use. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I need a screenshot of that right there, people. I mean, I'll, well, I'll take it with my phone. But I I, I like that way that looks right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick snap. Y'all don't mind me. <laughs> I just like the way that co those colors look. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I think I already have a thumbnail. All right, so now instead of putting all the colors on at once, and let me go ahead and lift a little bit of the um, graphite there. Instead of putting all the colors on at once and then trying to blend them with the water, I'm going to do one color at a time. Getting a big cat eye stare. It's obviously dinner time. Okay, bye, Sean. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. I know in the UK, y'all are five hours ahead of us. Bye, Victoria. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up on your way out the door. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so um, 
the stem, I'm going to start with just some brown here. Well, it is, um, I was going to tell you all the colors. Burnt ochre. Burnt ochre. I got some camel, which is kind of a green. Oh, it did get a little dark. Maybe I need, let's, let's go back to brightening it back up again. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Uh, camel, which is like a green, olive green brown. Then I have jade green. And then the other greens I have here are lime and pear. Oh, I have pear green. Um, and then these two oranges, um, pumpkin and orange. So I got those two colors. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, brown on the stem here. All right. So I think I'm going to start. Let's, let's start with pear green. Pear green. We're going to start with that and put lay that lay that color down first where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to go around here like this. So I want I want to just I'm going to wash in one color at a time rather than try to do uh, all the colors and then try to blend them with the watercolor pencils. And on the next one we do, I will use the watercolors. I'll use the Arteza. I'll use the Arteza watercolors as a base, and then do detail with the pencils. So trying to do it, uh, you know, different what multiple ways here. <clears throat> or no coffee next time. Oh, I missed something there, Cajun. Sorry, on the no coffee. That had to be a typo. <laughs> that no coffee comment had to be a typo. All right, let's see. All right. I'm just starting with pear, I mean the pear color. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kim. That's nice. Very nice of you, Kim. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep using the water brush because it's, I mean, I have my water right there, but this is just as easy. Um, oh, let me do the little stem here. Let me just get that blocked in. I'm going to add more to it, but I just get that blocked in. You said thumbs up on the way out the door, and I said, or no coffee next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so does anybody have any more, you know, fun art plans this week, or what do y'all got going on? I'm just kind of getting in some of this green wash here. Like that. Every Christmas we do pears and bears on the stairs. <laughs> Lady Jan is so funny. We, her husband's called Mr. We call him Mr. Bear. Well, she calls him Mr. Bear, but we call him Mr. Bear too. So, Lady True North Jan, if y'all did not see my Cadfell book where she made, handmade me a Cadfell um, handmade book, oh, my gosh. Anyway, she just said, <laughs> every Christmas we do pears and bears on the stairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, hi, Kate. What Kate said something. Oh, this is so great, Dean. I'm teaching a botanical drawing class this summer to three to six graders. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I showed these three books at the beginning. There's others, too. I just picked these three because they're um, uh, tutorial type books. And a lot of my botanicals, you know, they're not tutorial types, but these are. So, um, yeah. 
All right, so let's dry this now. Excuse me, excuse me, uh, little miss. There we go. I had to get up. Get, she was laying on my uh, heat gun. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go in here with the oranges and the sienna. What is it called, though? Burnt ochre. Yeah, these colors. I'm going to go with these next. Yeah, yeah. And if you uh, if you look back at the chat also, I mean, it's easy to find. Them. They're easy to find on Amazon. I got them at uh, Hobby Lobby on clearance, but you can get them on Amazon. So, <laughs> Kenny, Kenny's laughing at me. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this dark. Let me, oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. What are we thinking, people? We forgot to do our little, our little tests. We have to do these. <laughs> Even if we don't use all these colors, I want, uh, I want them all on here. Oh, wait. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to use that dark green. Probably not, but let's put it down there. I need something else there. What could I use? I mean, I need one more color. Maybe this. Uh, yeah. I don't know that I'm going to use that color, but I'm going to put it there because I want eight colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and just kind of swatch these out. And then I'll ride over it like a green pear or something like that. Y'all tell me, you know, what would be a good something to say. Am I, I don't know why that's not. Hmm. Don't like the way that green looks. Do I not? I need to just work it a little more. What I could say, so it needs a little more. I'm trying to get in a hurry. I need to take a more little more time to dissolve. Dissolve that. <laughs> green poppy. Very funny, Holly D. <laughs> I like the little touch too, uh, CL, Christine. So if y'all just join us here, look, we did this purple, almost a purple poppy, but it was a purple pansy. We did this one. I'm trying to do, I need to do at least five or six. I won't get those all done here on the show, but uh, I'm, I need to do, I'm doing these for um, the YouTube supporter girls. <laughs> okay. Now, now. Let's go with let's go with the lightest orange first. So I don't I don't want to over, you know. So now I'm gonna go in here with going right on top. I want to keep that light area right there in the middle. So I'm doing them individually now rather than trying to blend them all at together on the same same swipe you know I'm now I'm layering on top and again I don't use watercolor pencils I'm really just kind of testing this so on the next one we're going to start with a wash of watercolor and then do pencil detail okay <clears throat> That's probably enough. <laughs> Can I purchase one for my class to have as an example? Is that right? um, if what how I'm doing them, Kate, is if you um, if you uh, put something on my PayPal. So if you want to, you know, support the channel and just put whatever you want on PayPal to support the channel, then you'll be on the list to get one. So yeah, yeah. 
So you, you don't really have to purchase one of these, but by supporting the channel, I'm, I'm giving, um, I'm giving the supporters of the channel, um, some of these. Okay. Yeah, it's easy. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Let's smooth this out. I got a little bit too much pigment right there. I gotta be careful not to over pigmatize. <laughs> Yeah, for those, <clears throat> those of y'all that don't know, Kate is a uh, art teacher. At, uh, I'm not sure what all ages she teaches. <coughs> Thank you. There you go. Pacola just put it in there. All right, let me... Okay, now uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the dark green and put a little deep more detail in the stem. That one, that uh, that heat gun woke up the little princess next to me. Okay, now let's wet that in. During the school year, you teach nine to twelfth grade, and in the summer elementary art okay oh you did okay is it on twitter or what where where is it uh lady jan is it on messenger is it on oh it's on the ms i see it okay okay oh oh mr it really literally <laughs> oh my gosh she wasn't kidding look guys it's mr bear on the stairs with pears <laughs> At Christmas. That's so cute, Lady Jan. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> All right. Just a little darker on the stem there. I'll let that dry and I'll put another, I think it needs another layer of a dark brown. It's a little stem place there like that all right now um let's let's start with the um with uh what color was this camel color so i'm going to start putting now i'm going to put another layer on here See, and I can always already feel it's going to be, it's starting to resist a little bit. This is the third layer of these pencils. Now, what I could do, guys, if it starts to resist one, me putting it down, I could just pick it off of here and lay it down wet. And that then it, will, it won't resist um, laying down. I mean, it's still going down, but I think... Not too many more layers are going to be, I don't know. I, I can just feel it. You know, I just know the, I know the feel of the pencils when they start to have built up layers. And we'll put some little specks in there too on the pairs. this okay all right let's wet that now let's do the next layer oh thank you 
thank you, Mama Four. Yeah, I will go in there and look at my PayPal after a while and and uh, add y'all all to the little. Um, also, guys, make sure it's easier for me if you put your. You don't have to like Mama Four. I don't know if you did it or if you know. Sometimes it 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 says, "Do you want to put your address?" Please put your address in there so it's easier for me. If I have your address, I have most of y'all's addresses. Or at least email me your address. Email me your address. If you don't put it in the PayPal, then email it to me so I can uh, easily find you to send you your um, happy mail. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how many layers I can get uh, with these pencils um, just by putting them down. But you can always just you know, pick some up with the, uh, off the tip, you know, more pigmented. And I know that's especially true uh, with the Neo Color, the Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. All right, so let's dry this. And I got to add another layer of darker green. Thank you, Kate. Yes, please do. Sorry, baby girl. I didn't mean to, you know, scare you with that. All right. Now I'm thinking, I don't know. I really want a little bit. I, I'm a kind of, a, I'm a scared. I'm a scared to use this color green. <laughs> uh, I might, I think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, that This one's a little scaring me. I wanted some, I want some of those dark shadows, you know, but that green's a little scary. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to just pull the paint off the tip here. I might have to sharpen it. Is that too? I might have already. I don't know. Now I think I'm kind of picking it up. I might not be able to do that, guys, with the pencils. It's wanting to. What, what's happening is as I'm picking the pigment off, as I'm picking the pigment off here and laying it down, it's kind of lifting. It's almost just like lifting my paint. It's not laying down another layer. So let me try to scratch down. I can do it with the um, Neo Colors. The Neo Colors will lay, lay. They won't be picking it up. But for some reason... The pencil is wanting to pick it back up. So let's just go ahead and see if I can. Um, just go ahead and put down the color here. It's not quite dark enough, but I'm really afraid to use that color. I think that might be a little too much. Maybe if I just put a little. I'm going to go ahead and try. I'm going to try to put just the slightest because that's really, if I just... Can you get just a tiny bit of it? Not over bright green it. I don't want a bright green. I want to just, uh, you know, keep it subtle. And then up here, this needs to be a little bit more ochre or uh, sienna ochre. What does they call it? Burnt ochre. Right up in here, and a little more around the stem. How we doing? A pair looking okay. I don't want to overwork it. I'd rather have it like look not finished than have it too overworked. So I think I'm going to leave it like about that. All right, now let's see if we can just do it. I don't want to lift. I want to just try to see it wants to lift. I don't know. It really just wants to lift now. I think it's because all the layers are on there. You know, I'm not saying it's a waxy buildup, but if you've used Prismacolor, you know what I'm talking about. It feels like that. So I might be done because I'm just kind of lifting it now. All 
Okay. What did what did Becky say? Thought the same thing. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Should I just do the word pear in green or th let's test these two colors, the kind of the gold. Let's see. Do we want to just do. What do you think? Should we do it in that color or should we go with green? No, that's going to be too bright. That's going to be too bright green. I think we should go with the gold color, don't you? Go with the gold. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of goldy ochre. It's not really gold. There's no, no shine to it. Okay, so we're going to go with pear then. Okay, here we go. And I'm making this one bigger, right? But I want to try to remember on the downstroke. Thick on the downstroke. Thin on the upstroke. What do y'all think? Can you still read it? Do I need to do it on some? Well, maybe I just need to make it a little thicker because the word is bigger. Let me just let me just do another over it so it shows up a little more. I think that shows up. What do y'all think? Yeah. Okay, now let me get my... There we go. All right. There's one, another one of our little um, thank you to my YouTube um, supporters. All right, let's see. Where's my water? But here, I need. I can see right here. It needs a softer edge right there. Just a little smoothing out right there. I think we have time for one more. I have time for one more. Okay, there we go. Bye, CB. All right, so we have our we have our purple pansy, and we have our little pear. Okay. Now let's see what I want to do. One more. We'll have time for one more. And on this one, again, I'm using the smoother side of the two sides. It's got something on it. I'm using the smoother of the two sides. Oh, you gotta get okay, Terry. Don't hurt your shoulder. Keep posting those awesome pictures too. Oh, wait, Terry. Before you go, let me let me show a couple. Let me look. Uh, maybe Twitter will be the easiest to find them. Terry posted some really nice flowers, and hang on, let me see if I can find it. Other than the, um, <laughs> other than. The uh, Hobbit House. Let's see. Let me go to her media. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, well, yeah, here they are. No, I think they're the same ones with the Hobbit House. I'm not sure. But I'm going to show these again anyway. Um, I think there's some other ones over on Facebook. See, look, Terry could be painting these. Painting these, Terry. There is more on Facebook. Okay. And there's the Hobbit house. She said she didn't go in it. <laughs> Let me look on Facebook real quick. Let's 
let's see. Let me see. Come load up, people. Load those. You couldn't fit. It wasn't really that tiny. I was trying to find your. Well, that's the same one. I'm I'm seeing the same one that I saw over. I think on. Oh. oh I've got to tell Terry bye. Oh, that's a little loud. <laughs> I got that really loud. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. And sleep well, Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Uh, okay, we'll do one more. Let's see what else we got in here. What else do we have? Uh, oh, the eggplant. I'll do it this way, though. But I want to do that purple eggplant. Now, let's see how I can manage to get this all in here. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's move it to this side. All right, let's move my pencils. Let's get everything over here. And in this case, what I want to do Let's see if I can do it backwards. I'll have to kind of, let me get a clamp. Where's a clip? Where's a, hang on, let me get a clip to hold the book open. I know I got a small little clip around here somewhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's, let's, let's clip that book open here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> uh, okay, just Dee, can I send you some pictures of my different color hibiscus flowers? Um, where are where are you, Cajun? Are you on Instagram? Put it on if you're well, just tell me where you are. Tell me where they're posted and I'll just go there. I think I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so that'll clip it right there so that it stays open. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so you're on Instagram? All right, let's see. <laughs> Same name? Same name. Okay, let me get over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait. Who posted that? Wait, let me go back. Ketsia. Y'all know Ketsia. Our Ketsia does miniatures. This just popped up. Look at that cute little bookcase. Ketsia, Ketsia does miniatures. I never see her on any YouTube channels anymore, but I see I follow her on Instagram. So if y'all don't follow Ketsia.ellie, can y'all see that name? It's Ketsia.elie. She has miniatures. Okay, that just popped up. Sorry. Uh, now let's go back over to <laughs> Cajun Sunshine Crafts. Okay, let's see what your flowers look like. I'm looking for your flowers. Um, I'm not seeing your flowers, Cajun. Cajun, where are your flowers on Instagram? Colored hibiscus. Okay, let me look. Hmm. Colored hibiscus. Not seeing it, girl. Not seeing it. I know Ketsy is a miniature queen. Oh, you know what, guys? Should I show? Let's do this one. Let me do this, and then I'll show you the miniature that Ketsy. Why am I so tan? I don't know what I did to my lighting here. <laughs> it was bright now. I don't know. I think I've just lost the, uh, I lost my color and all that by messing with it so much. Uh, I think I really have um, jacked up my, lighting situation <laughs> uh no go to oh well you said you said cajun oh my gosh you said it was the same name i need to show y'all my uh ketsia miniature if i don't get to it today maybe one of the mods will remind me next show okay wait, wait um pat 
Do I follow that you on that name? Pat T. Um, I don't see it. I don't see a real name. I'm sorry. I'm, maybe I don't follow you. Oh, that, that is yours. That is your name. I'm look. <laughs> That's your name there. But I don't see any paint. I don't see any hibiscus. I don't see any colored hibiscuses at all. I am just missing that. I'll have to look for it later. I just, I just do not see any color. I don't see any hibiscus. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we got to keep moving on here, people. We got to keep moving on. All right, let's go ahead and draw this out. Uh, where's my pencil? Here we go. All right, so we're going to draw. We're going to do an eggplant. We're going to do a purple. We're going to try a purple eggplant here. Okay. All right, let's see here. All right, so I want it about, I don't want a full page because I want to have a little space down here to write eggplant, right? So let's go ahead and. Okay, eggplant's coming around this way. It's got a little leaf coming up here. And again, guys, I'm I'm getting a general idea, but I'm not trying to, you know, I could just trace it if I wanted it exactly. I, you know, that's I don't need to do that. I can just get a general eggplant. You may not be able to see it right now, but I'll hold it up here in just a minute. So I'm trying to keep it very light. A little fatter on that side, kind of like that. Okay, so there we go. It needs a little bit more of a rounded bottom, I think. Something like that. I can't even see it. I got a I got a glare on mine. And it's got its little um place where it was attached. <laughs> it's got its little bottom there. Uh, uh I don't know what that is. A different kind of eggplant, maybe? Could be. Okay, so there we go. That's good enough. Oh, let me turn that light down. There we go. Okay, so now let's see what colors we want to uh, go for. Um, I want, uh, might just want, all right, let's do the little, oh no, you know what we were going to do? We were going to use Hold on, let's move the pencils. We were going to start with a base of watercolor. Okay, let's move this over. Let's see, there's a shine right there. Let's move this over. Let's get into the watercolors. All right, so let's see. Let me do a little. Ooh, that's a good. Let me get my. Where's my. I need to clean this. Clean my brush off. Let me do a little test here of some of these colors. It's this one that's blue so it's going to be these three this one okay let's start with the light let's start with this light kind of purpley color here i'm going to go ahead and just put a wash on here let's see what that color oh wait no you know what i wanted to do a little swatch test let's do it down here that one might be too aubergine and then this one we'll do those three and then for the green, let's see. Let's go up here with this one. I'll just go with that. Okay, so let's first, before we start, let me take my um, kneaded eraser. And I know you can't see. Why is there? Hmm, why am I got flashed out all of a sudden? Look at that. Maybe if I let me turn that off, that's a little better. There we go. Turn that light off. Oh, this this is a purple pear. This one, eggplant and purple pear. Yeah. Oh, are you just being funny? I don't know. Sometimes you girls, I really don't know if you're serious or not. All right, so I'm just lifting up, <laughs> lifting up some of the uh, pencil. <laughs> I want it really light. Okay. Now, let's go with the green. And put uh, just put a wash on the stem here. It's going to be so much quicker 
just using the watercolor instead of the pencil. And then I want to do like some detail with the pencil, right? All right, so there's a little wash again, guys. It's really, I don't know why. Um, let me try to move my camera. There we go. That helped. <laughs> that helped a little. <clears throat> All right. Uh, now, I think I need this purple. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, take the lightest purple and do a wash over the whole thing. So we can scrub that little bit up there. Keep it kind of light around that little area there. Okay, there's an initial initial wash on there. I need to keep a, a light area right there. All right, so let's just sit there, sit on that for a minute. Um, bye, Mama Four. Oh, enjoy the grands. Yeah, thank you, Pacola. If y'all are new, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, and usually start about a half hour early to say good morning to everybody. All right, let's let's uh, dry that, and then I'll, oh, FedEx is here. Um, maybe they're just slowing down. to someone else's house okay all right oh, oh no all right let's get the darker let's see i'm gonna mix a little bit of that blue in there i need a little bit of water i'm gonna spritz a little bit i want that little thinner i mean i want it um i don't want too much water i mean too much uh paint i want it uh lighter okay so let's see here now Okay, kind of go this way here. Keep some light edges. Get it going round. Okay. Get the form going there. Yes, I'm still on Faithful. We did the, uh, we did a purple, I'm reaching here. We did a purple pansy and we did a pear. And now we're doing an eggplant. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me play with my purple here again. Um, I almost could use a little bit of boring. I, I think t I'm telling you that aubergine color needs to be in there. Yeah, there we go. I'm horrible with my, my uh, paints. I'll just pick them up and mix all, you know. I'm not cleaning my brush in between. <laughs> That's why my... Um, Jane Davenport's. They all look like this. <laughs> this is how my paints will. This that's how this will look soon, guys. If I keep using them, this is my Jane Davenport's. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's get in. Ah, there we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Although I did lose, um, wait a minute, I lost a little bit of that. Oh, let me clean it some more. I need some water in there. I lost a little of my stem. There we go. I'll put it back in. I lost a little of my stem getting, get going, getting a little cray there. Okay. 
pick it back out. I wanted to use the pencils though. Remember, I'm uh, you know, I'm going to be tempted just to keep working with the watercolor here. <laughs> I need to use the pencil. Yeah, I know. They're getting used. That's right. <laughs> okay, I don't need quite that much. All right, so now I can tell my paper is wanting to peel. I'm I'm going crazy with the pen, the the paint. I got to be careful not to let it peel. That may be enough. All right, let's. I need a clean Kleenex here. All right, let's see if I can pick out some of that stem. Okay, let's let's let it sit for a minute. Let's let it let's let it um, simmer for just a minute. Yeah, the, <laughs> they get when I use my watercolors, I use my Ganzai Tambi, and I use you know my I got my three Jane Davenport's, and they they're they're well um, they're well. Uh, this one's not quite as bad, but you see these colors right here. When you're mixing colors, those are good colors. You can't just you can't just pick those out of the tray. These colors are your special colors. <laughs> they make your special colors over here or right in here too. See, I'm, I'll mix right in there. I'll mix in the little in the little ditch there. But these colors are really awesome. And then this one. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Oh, thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up. Got tons of them. All right, let's see. Let's dry that. You know what I forgot to do on the pears, though? Let me do this real quick as soon as I dry this. One thing I did want to do on the pears, and I forgot, is take one of my... I wanted to do some little... You know, the little pear dots... And this is this is where I would think I would use the pencils the most is in these little little details like that. See, it's very subtle, but look at look how that makes a difference with pear pimples. <laughs> pear pear pimples. No, we'll we'll be nice. Pear freckles. Pear freckles. Yeah, there we go. This guy. <laughs> pear freckles. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's go back to this now. Now, let's see if I can stop with the paint and let's just test. Let's play. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with the, uh, even on the stem here. Let me sharpen my pencil here. <laughs> pear freckles. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go in here with the, um, camel it's kind of an olive green and i know my chain colors it's really my camera's settings have changed five times since we've been here all right so now i'm going to uh just put a little bit of with this color it might be a little too brown i might need to go with a little bit of the more olive green but now that i've already put this down let's go ahead and add a layer of this
Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Laying. Oh no. Let me see. Let me try to move my. There we go. Maybe my camera's just crooked, and that's making it weird. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to add a little of that color, but it really needs the green. It needs the olive green. Where is that? No, not jade. Where's the, was it jade? No. I don't remember what color it was. No, not jade. Maybe this was the darkest olive green I pulled. Let's pull another. Let's pull another olive green. This is coyote. Let's, yeah, that's what we need. We need that color. It's, it's a little less brown. It has a little more green to it. I'm going to go back over what I just put down. I hope y'all had fun today. Uh, I will be doing some more of these. I, I need to do, I don't know, six or eight of them. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I added a little bit of, well, let's do a little bit of water. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to just take a sip of juice. All right, so now I want to go in and blend out that watercolor pencil. It's not quite as green as this. This has got a little more gray green. I went with more of a little bit of yellow green in this. But I still like it, and I don't like to overwork the watercolors. I like to kind of leave them a little on the unfinished side. <laughs> All right, now, now we want the um, amethyst, the dark purple. All right, I'm going to get in here, do a little shading on top. A little more definition on a couple areas. I'm thinking that the Artesia, I make you brave. Oh, good, Christine. That's a nice thing to say. Make you brave. <clears throat> I'm thinking the Artesia colors probably, I don't say that they're exact same. I need to test. I need to check them out and see how close their pencil colors are to the, the watercolor pencils and compare them to the watercolors themselves, right? So now with the, the pencils, I'm going to just kind of almost sh like kind of shade. And then we'll wet it and see if I can, if it doesn't lift off, you know. It may lift off, and so then, you know, it, well, I don't know what to say if it does. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, that's not working. All right, something like that. And then I just need a little bit of the green down in here there's like a little little you know, stem thing down there and I'll, I'll blend in some of that water okay so let's see what we can do here so I have to kind of dissolve it you know I have to dissolve the pencil
And again, these are just little studies, little sketches. All right, let's see if I can smooth, can smooth out that pencil. I don't know. What do y'all think? So it wants to lift. If I do it too much, like right here, look. So that's lifting, which that's good if you want to make that nice um, white spot there. But it's I'm not loving. It. I'm not loving the pencil over the watercolor. It's almost like you got to do. I, here's the thing. I think the pencil over the watercolor, like I did the pear freckles, little details like that. Details, yes. Shading big areas like what I'm trying to do here, not so much. Or I just not might not be proficient enough at it to do the uh, pencil on top of the watercolor. You know, that could be. That very well could be. <clears throat> so, um, all right. I think I'm going to stop for now. I'll probably go in and do a little bit more what, what on it but I want to write pear I mean an eggplant purple I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to wait till this is completely dry and I'll probably try to do a little bit wash over the top of it without it lifting I don't want it to lift and that could be the paper too guys it very well may be the paper that's making it want to lift I should probably try another one on the rougher side of this paper, you know? Go and write pear. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so anyway, guys, I, you know, I hope y'all try different things. I'm not, I'm not uh, loving using the pencils as a whole watercolor medium. I'm looking for my pen. Um, I'm liking it for details. You know, like I said, the pear freckles, little tiny details. Okay, Heather. Thank you. Um, let me go back to the here. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me not leave y'all hanging with. Let's go back in here with the uh, the purple and this aubergine color together. Kind of make a good eggplant color. Maybe a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's see here. I just want a little bit smooth, more smoothness to this that I'm not able to get with the pencil. But it may want to lift too. See? Okay, now let me clean my brush and kind of smear that in there. I like that a little better. A little better. Oh, welcome back in. <laughs> so something like that, guys. Ian, if you missed what we did, we were playing with the Artesia watercolors. And the Arteza, th this needs some more too, guys. I've got to add a little bit more um, brownie green. Oh, maybe this olive green here, this one. i got to add just a little bit more color here. 
Um, we did a, a little practice with some uh, little studies using the Arteza watercolor in and the Arteza uh, pencils, which, yeah, I can see how I could use the pencils for details, but not really so much for Not so much for uh, just laying it down. Okay, so here we go. This is what we've done today, guys. We did the eggplant. Did the purple pansy and the pear. I like the pear. Well, I don't know. I like the eggplants okay, too. I just need to water that down right there. But uh, I, I like the pear. I like the pear. So um, I can't back out too much. I can back out a little. We didn't zoom in too much. I did move my camera in so that we could see things. And then there's the pump, there's the eggplant. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're going to go for a little thank yous to the channel supporters. Thanks, everyone. Yes, and thanks to the mods. Yeah, the mods are on it, Miss Christine. My mods have full boot control. They, I don't even ever question what they do. If they kick someone, block someone, mute someone, yeah, they they have total. I never have to question my mods. Now, if they accidentally kick somebody, you know, they'll let you. <laughs> it's been known to happen a couple times. If they accidentally kick you, you know, and you're you're not a troublemaker. I need a little. Then uh, we will uh, we'll let you back in, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> so you're welcome and thanks again, Kenny. Look, Kenny, I'll show this again. I think Kenny's OCD got the better of her when she saw my bone folder, so she got me a new one. <laughs> so thank you so much, Kenny, for my new bone folder. I'm sure we'll break it in just as lovely as this one. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Julie. All right, guys. We will see you later. Thanks so much for being here. And I, I hope you all enjoyed, the, enjoyed doing a little um, artesia practice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.